Dear friends, I'm Sun Xianfen. Welcome to my video series on Chinese culture. Today I'm going to talk about the traditional Chinese costumes, the stories of Chinese beauty and creativity. Traditional Chinese clothing Japan's aesthetic and customs. It varied historically, regionally, and through the social hierarchy. There are 24 stores in China. Each had its own style of costumes. Traditional Chinese costumes is composed of an ikut on the upper part of the body and a shan skirt on the lower part. Yishan is the general name of clothing in upper garment and shan lower garment. It is two-piece clothing and its history can be traced back to longitude on this way. In Zhou Dynasty, a kind of long garment named Shen became popular. Shen is a form of one-piece clothing. Yishan and Shen made the two basic forms of Chinese costumes. Costumes has a special significance in China. Royal costumes such as dragon robes and phoenix, harness indicated the highest rank of society and represented the super emperor power. Official costumes were made of pure and bright colors while those for common people were blue. Chinese traditional costumes, colors, and patterns were closely related to social status. The emperors and queens have their own costumes with dragon jokes. Officials have their own boots to indicate their positions. Different ranks of officials were distinguished by the color pattern and accessories. There are four well-known traditional Chinese costumes types Hanfu, Zhongshan suit, Tang suit, and Qi Pao. Thanks for watching! Follow my channel for more wonderful videos. See you next time!